What's happening, Shredder Nation? Happy Saturday. Happy January 5th kickoff call. So I'm super excited. There's, uh, I'm going to wait a couple minutes, see who pops in. But what we're doing tonight is I wanted to make sure that we popped on here. We have our uh, January 25th official ER shred, big team shred that kicks off on Monday. And I know that there's a lot of new people. Um, there's a lot of new people that are in here. And okay, good. Thank you, Heather, very much. I'm using a new mic today. So I had Heather um, check it out to make sure, I'm trying to get all fancy and official. But anyways, as you guys come in, do me a favor, drop in. What's up, Sean? Uh, drop into the comments. Let me know where it is you're calling from, uh, where you're calling from, where it is you're coming in from. Um, I like to see where everybody's at. I like to see how we spread. Uh, I like to watch the vision uh, that, that we talked about in the beginning come to life as we manifest more and more and we continue on the mission of helping more and more people get as healthy as they can freaking possibly be because health is our greatest wealth. Health is our greatest wealth. And without our health, we have absolutely nothing. It helps you in all aspects of your life, relationships, career, uh, spirituality. It helps you in, in, in everything. Um, when you have good health, you're in control. You're in control. Confidence is up. Uh, I mean, just everything, just everything, right? So welcome. Uh, for those of you that have never met me, hello. How are you? Uh, Jesse James Jemnick. I am the head nutrition coach for ER Shred. Um, I'm the crazy guy who said yes to Sean, basically. And then we figured it all out. Uh, now that was October. Now here we are in January. We have literally impacted thousands of people's lives, literally, that's not like an exaggeration, thousands of people's lives. And for those of you that are just starting, that this is shred numero uno, numero uno, get excited. Uh, if, you're, if you're nervous, okay, we're going to handle some of that. Uh, if you have questions, post them in the comments. Um, if you are watching this on replay later on, say replay. Post your, post your question. Myself or one of our amazing team of coaches will always do our best to get to you. Um, we can't always promise because sometimes it gets a little crazy. Uh, we will always do our best. We are all here to serve at a much higher purpose than ourselves. This is not about us. This is truly because we freaking love watching other people feel amazing. We all cracked the code up for ourselves. We all had, you know, my, I always say my aha moment, if you will, is when I realized just how powerful of a drug food was. And literally every bite that I chose to take, I chose to take, very powerful right there. You have to understand that. You choose, right? Every bite of food I chose to take instantly started to send signals in my body, instantly started to tell my body to do good, to do bad. And that's just the simplicity of it, right? Um, so once I had that aha moment myself, and this was years and thousands and thousands of dollars trying different diets. Um, I was in the bodybuilding world. So you, that, that's crazy, right? Then I got into obstacle course racing, endurance athletics. Now I do ultra marathon running. Like trust me over 15 plus years, I have tried everything, every supplement, every diet. Like I admit that I am surprised I'm not dead because of some of the products that I put in my body, knowing what I know today. <sighs> Wonder why I felt like I was going to have a heart attack. Anyways, here we go. Um, what is the 11 day ER shred? The 11 day ER shred is the most I believe it's the most powerful empowerment movement that you will are, are about to immerse on, that you're ever going to put yourself in because you're going to have to dig deep inside you and you're going to start to identify things about you that you think might have been normal for the past decade or two decades. You're going to start to realize that maybe 
it's just some simple switches, right? You're, when, when you experience the elimination aspect of the ER shred, you're going to start to have mind-body connection that just goes so deep. It, it goes so deep. So if you're just starting the ER shred, what I want, my first tip is, what I want to recommend to you is that you keep a journal. You, you, you just spend five minutes a day. Maybe it's five minutes in the morning and five minutes at nighttime and just keep a journal. Number one, I would start off with, you know, tomorrow at, before you start on Monday, I would write down and really think about why it is that I'm here. Why are you here? Are you here because you saw your friend have amazing results and you're, you got FOMO? <laughs> I mean, be honest, raise your hand. Are you here because you watched your friend get super healthy and you know that you have some, some things that you want to work on yourself? But I want you to go deep with this and really understand why. Are you an athlete like myself that's just always looking to fine tune things? Like I just want to get better and better. As I age, I want to feel younger and younger. I want to have more and more energy. And, and that's what I feel now at 41 years old. I, I feel more alive than I ever have in my entire life. Now, for me, this has been a progress, right? I'm not going to say this is like 11 days and boof, here comes the magical furies. This shit doesn't work like that, right? We're going to be real and we're going to be wrong. We're going to be honest always with you. And everybody that comes in is at a different point. Everybody's at a different journey spot. And it's unfair to compare yourself to anybody else's journey. My cat's going crazy with that. She's freaking psycho. She's like 17 years old. But if I, if I let her out, she meows. If I let her in, she meows. Like you just have to deal with her. But anyways, so everybody's at a different point in their journey. It's so unfair for you to, to look at somebody else. And, you know, I want to encourage you because it's going to creep up, especially, you know, you know, when we do the 11 day ER shred, people are going to have results of of all different crazy levels. Like we got, we have some that, that drop ridiculous amounts of weight and inches and some that have lost a little, and it's going to depend on a lot of, so many factors, how healthy you were coming into the shred, how many years you spent abusing your body already, how toxic are you, how, how, how much is going on inside? Or are you somebody that was already physically active? Have you been on a health journey and you're at a plateau? And you need something to bash through your plateau. The beautiful thing about the ER shred is that it adapts to the human being. And it's so simple. It's so easy that you can adjust it simply based upon different snacks and consumption of amounts of food that you choose to take in. And you're going to find that out as you go. Um, you're you're going to really learn about your body. So that's tip number one. Take some time, journal. Figure out what your why is. Why do you want this? Promise yourself you won't compare to somebody. You know, I promise you it's not just because you want to lose weight. Like, stop the bullshit. I'll call you out right now. You don't just want to do this because you want to lose weight. Why do you want to lose weight? I'm asking you to get honest with yourself for a second and be real. Because if you're real and you go all in at 100% mentally, physically, and you're just on point, you're going to have amazing freaking results. I guarantee you that. But you've got to be raw and real with yourself. Why do you really want to lose weight? Do you feel unsexy? Do you feel unconfident? Do you not feel good naked? Like, what are the reasons that you truly, 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 <laughs> Sean says, stop it. <laughs> what are the reasons that you actually really want to accomplish this? So that's my first tip. Second tip, what are we going to expect? expect? What's 11 days? We have two shake and meat days. We have two cleanse days. We have five shake and meat days. We have two cleanse days. 11 days. It's really, really simple. Seven out of those 11 days, you are only going to consume meat and butter, grass fed, and Himalayan pink sea salt. What the hell is that all about? Well, here's the deal. We're eliminating all the culprits, the soy, the gluten, the pesticides, the artificial this. You're eating stuff. You're like, oh, somebody said that was healthy, so I'm, I'm just going to eat it. Oh, that tastes good. I'm going to eat more of that shit. You're just eating and eating and eating and eating, and you have no idea what food actually serves your body. Remember, the, the, the concept, the, the main goal that I want you to get from this at, by the end of this is I want you to start at least on your process 
of becoming a food ninja, <laughs> you need to understand food and how it serves you. That's the beautiful thing about getting yourself to baseline. That's why we strip everything out and you're only going to consume meat. We're going to make sure that your body is fueled at a cellular level. Meat is one of the most nutritious foods. But Jesse, I don't eat red meat. Eat meat. That means red meat, all cuts, grass-fed, grass-finished is the best. If you can't get to that level because of whatever reason, fill it in. Okay, no worries. Do the best you can. Buy the best cuts that you can. You're still eliminating all of the all of the culprit foods. You're eliminating the soy, the gluten, the pesticides, and all of that crap. Right? Hold on one second. Go on. I can't listen to it anymore. So you're eliminating all of that crap. So do the best that you can. Don't stress out over stuff that that's whatever. Just do the best you can, okay? So you're going to get those kind of cuts. You can have lamb. You can have bacon. You can have hard-boiled eggs. You can have scrambled eggs. You can have fried eggs. You can fry the eggs in after you cook the bacon. Like, I want you to be so generous when it comes to butter. You're going to strip away the carbohydrates. When you strip away the carbohydrates, it is essential that you do not become scared of fat. Fat does not make you fat. An overconsumption of what you need versus what you expend makes you fat. Healthy fat does not make you fat. Exclamation mark. Okay. So I need you to consume enough fat in the form of butter and animal fats. So if you're doing more of a lean meat because of, again, whatever reason, it's your reason, I recommend that you do red meat and, and fattier cuts. That is because I know that it works. It's very satiating. It's not going to cause issues inside of the stomach. It's going to help repair torn stuff that's going on inside there. It's going to help with things like dysbiosis, which is the bad influx of bad bacteria to good bacteria. Like it's going to help with so much stuff. Just get rid of the shit. You got to get rid of the shit. So we're putting in the meat, we're fueling the body, and then we couple that with our macronutrient balance meal replacement shakes. Because believe it or not, the, the human body can function at amazing levels being fat adapted and on fats, but there are certain things like brain cells that would have a field day with glucose. So we have a little bit of that. Remember, this isn't keto, you're just getting some of the benefits. You don't have to stress about ketosis. We're going to show you how to become fat adaptive instead. And you're going to learn that over time. Your body is going to switch from using glucose as energy to using fat as energy. And now understand that's what's, that's what's happening. So seven of those days is that. that. That's how you're going to fuel your day. What if I get hungry? Eat more meat. What if I'm still hungry? Have a hard-boiled egg. What if I'm still hungry? Eat another hard-boiled egg. Do you understand the concept? Can I add extra supplements? No, you cannot add extra supplements. Baseline. The goal is baseline. You see, I w again, we're not stating that vegetables, all vegetables are horrible. We're not stating that fruits are horrible. We're not stating that you can't learn how to, how to have metabolic flexibility and, and train your body to burn fat, but also learn how to utilize glucose in time. What we're saying is it's been so many years that you need to get to baseline because you don't understand what that is. Nobody's ever explained it to you and you've never felt the euphoric feeling that it provides and produces. I don't even know the word I want to use because it's so hard to describe until you feel it. And people that have done it, no. Leanne, no, I would not do the vitamins. Take everything out. Again, it's not that they're not good. Those are high quality vitamins. I get it. I promise you, you don't need them though. You know, this is this is one of the things, and I'm not picking on you, Leanne. This is a lot of people that do this, guys, but listen to me. We're so, we're so stuck in our way. We're so stuck with habits. You know what I mean? This is this is why. Like a lot of people have fought this already. We've never wavered from it. We're not going to change because it's it's a beautiful thing. It's the most beautiful thing you'll experience. It's not because I'm an asshole. I promise you. Sometimes I'm an asshole, but it's not because it's not now. 
I'm doing this because I love you. I'm giving you tough love sometimes be, because I, I really want you to succeed. Like if you don't, I just really want you to succeed. I want you to feel the way that I feel every single day of my life. It's amazing. Do I have an off day here or there? Yeah, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm human. But I want you to feel so lit up every day. I want your body to just be so in tune and so focused. So suck it up, buttercup. Strip it all. Strip it all and remember, suck it up, buttercup. Say it to yourself a bazillion times over the next 11 days if you have to, starting Monday. Okay? So, and then that's that. Now, that's seven days. Let's go back to the other days. Two of those days, four of those days are intermittent fasting days. Listen to me. Again, depending upon your current health, some of you are going to breeze through this. The bone broth makes this super, super easy. Some of you, some of you, are going to struggle. I want you to go into the files tab and there's a beautiful article that talks about the art of healing. Some of you have spent 12, 13, 15, 20, 25 plus years abusing your body, choosing bad foods, being sedentary, um, not doing the right things. Again, I'm asking you to be honest with yourself. I'm not here to make fun of you. I'm just saying, be real. So Understand that if if you all of a sudden start to switch and your body, you know, your body's the most fascinating machine because it's always going to learn to adapt to what you're doing and it's going to take its, its no, it's good. Your body doesn't like it does what you tell it to do by the choices that you choose to make. Like if you choose healthy food, it's going to choose to operate healthy because it has what it needs, right? So if you've chosen the wrong way for so many years, you might go through a little poo-poo. Maybe literally. But is a couple days worth what's on the other side? Sometimes I always say you gotta you gotta trudge through the shit to get to the gold sometimes. And that's perfectly okay. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that whatsoever. If you came to see a functional medicine doctor and you went through a true elimination, number one, it's 10 times harder. Number two, it's this is free and that's over $10,000. <laughs> like, you don't, don't take for granted what you have. That's the only time I'll get mad is if people just whine they take for granted, right? Like, just be real and understand that you might go through some stuff. Reach out to the group. This is the beautiful part about our community that we give to you for free. You have me. You have so many other people that have, that have crushed three, four, five shreds. And they'll tell you what it was like on the first one. Some of them are where you're at right now. So go into the group. Use the search bar to your advantage. Type in what you're looking for. I promise you, you'll find a post. Don't just go into the group frantic. Oh, my God. It's not going to help you. Stop stressing out, right? Stop stressing out. So that's the thing. But the cleanse days, you just got to kind of go for it. And the bone broth and the wafers, they're there for a reason. I don't like it. I don't like suck it up, buttercup. Like seriously, just suck it up. I just want to ask you, like, if what you're doing works, why are you here? Suck it up, buttercup. <laughs> just do it. I promise you. Because before you know it, it's going to just become natural. I see Heather commenting, right? One, no whining zone. Damn straight, girl. Um, she, you know, Heather's been doing, this is like her fourth or fifth shred. She's like, she's just a solid shredder in the shredder army. She's like the working her way up to general status, right? And she'll tell you like what she's like now, the way she views food now versus how she viewed food in the beginning totally different, totally different. And was it always easy? Nope. Is every day going to be a breeze? Nope. Some of those amazing results that you've seen, you don't think those, some of those people, you know what I mean, struggled and they had to figure it out and crack the code? Yep. So I want to remind you that this is a journey and this is only the first 11 days. You're going to have amazing results. If you just follow the protocol and you don't steer from it, and you just go at it at 100%. Remember, first tip, journal, commit, figure out your why. You use that to your advantage. I, I, so, I have so much faith in you. You're going to crush it. And then you tap into the group and you just 
feed off of this massive love that the group gives every single day, the support that the group gives. We're going to have people going live all throughout the 11 days. We're going to be going over mindset tips and tricks. We're going to be going over how to prep for your days. We're going to be going over all sorts of stuff. If you really, truly can't find your question answered by typing it into the search bar first, by all means, post your question. But please don't be lazy and not use the search bar first. It's your best friend. We have a YouTube channel that Sean created that's ER Shred. I think it's just ER Shred on YouTube that you can find and you can get all of our past calls. You can tap yourself and immerse yourself into this amazing, beautiful freaking culture that we've created of all different walks of life, of people that have, that have had amazing experiences. Because we're learning how to get that baseline and then we're learning how to really identify like, holy crap, this is what my body is supposed to feel like when it's actually fed and fueled with food that provides vitamins and minerals and nutrients. And then once we finish this beautiful process, we, we then get to evaluate where we're at. Are we happy with where we're at? Do we want to continue to play the strict game? Where are we at mentally? Are we comfortable with starting to add things back in? Or is that going to, is that going to cause triggers for us? And that's a whole nother conversation that we have to talk about. Why do we have those triggers in the first place? You see, a lot of this is all going to start to come to light. If you come into this with an open mind and pay attention to the signals and, and everything that's going on inside your body. Everything's happening for a reason. You, you, you get a kink, not by chance. It's not just because you're getting older. Your body's talking to you. It's time to start listening. It's time to start listening, right? I'm sorry, I've been going. I haven't even seen what's going on in here, but uh, I guess Sean answered something about how it's not keto. Does anybody have any questions? I'm trying to go back through real quick to see. Does anybody have any questions at all? 11 days will go by anyway, so why not give it your all? Hell yeah, Kimber. You are so freaking worth it. You are so worth it. Let's see. Shelly Jean. Ah, there she is. Uh, I'll be in again on Saturday. Then in for a goal weight release of 50 pounds. Freaking excited about it. No more excuses. Getting and being super healthy. Hell yes. Hell yes. Hell yes. Right? Okay. So again, hopefully that helps you, right? Mindset. Don't freak out. It's only 11 days. Keep reminding yourself that. It's literally only 11 days for crying out loud. Like, stop it. Just stop it, right? Um, sometimes you're going to have to suck it up, buttercup. Don't complain. Don't be the complainer. Be the person that figures out the solution, right? You know, if something's a little off, understand your body's going through massive change especially if you're coming into this from a place that you're not the best right now. Okay. So give yourself time and give yourself permission, give yourself permission and time to heal. You reward yourself and congratulate yourself for saying yes, but don't allow yourself to fall into past tricks and past mistakes in the mind. You got to get the mind right. If you come into this with, this is not a diet. This is not just me trying to lose 10 pounds. This is me trying to get my confidence back. This is me trying to feel sexy. This is me trying to, you know, stop the cravings. This is me fighting back at food and saying, you, I don't serve you. You serve me. This is the reasons why you want to do something like this. Understand this, and, and it's all connected. You'll start to learn how the gut's connected to the mind. Your body is so in tune, man. When you're in check and your health is good, your body is so in check. It's, it's crazy. It's just nuts so feeling. Um, yes, Tracy, a 15-year-old can do this. However, I want you to be very careful with the way that you're wording why we're doing this. 
So one of the most beautiful things that that my uh, fiance taught my daughter that I heard her teach when it was about food was we taught these are sometimes foods and these are all the times foods. The worst thing that we want to do is we want we don't want to cause a, a complexion with a young adult. Right. You know, we want them to understand that their body is amazing. And the reason that we're doing this is because the foods that we were eating aren't actually foods and teach them a little bit about, you know, maybe if you look back at, you know, our grandmas and grandpas and their grandmas and grandpas and their grandmas and grandpas, and you look at the food that they used to eat, it's very, very different than the food we eat today. So we're going to try this approach and kind of go more along those lines, right? Try to really just make sure you got that understanding. I, I wanted to get into that because it's really important to me. I grew up a fat kid. So for me, it was really a struggle and it took me years to, to break that mold. Like it royally screwed my life. So this is reach out to me. Like if you want to talk, this is really important to me. So yes, they can um, be careful on cleanse days. And eh, I'm not going to say yes or no on that. Like you use your discretion. Um, we've had people do it and have done really well. But anyways. Uh, get rid of body fat and toxins. Yes. Surgery this week to aid in this. Why am I beginning on Saturday? Awesome. Um, anybody else, anybody else have any questions? If you do have any questions, if you come into this later, you watch this on replay, I'm wrapping this up in two minutes. So if you got one, ask it now, I want to keep this to 30 minutes. Um, not on cleanse days, only on shake days. I don't know what that was for, but thank you, Heather, for answering that guys. We're going to have a lot of stuff. My biggest thing is just tap into the group. If you don't show up, you can't get the help. If you don't show up to the calls, you can't get the help. Every single Monday, we have opportunity calls. Uh, for those of you that want to look into an opportunity, uh, every Tuesday, we host, I host a shred your body call. Every Tuesday, eight o'clock Eastern, live in the group, um, I have another guest that shares their experience. We talk about mindset, mentality, uh, growing up, how it's affected us. And it, they're very, very powerful. And then also, yes, I am single, Sean. Um, shh, don't tell anybody. Um, oh, goofball. Um, and on Wednesday, uh, Sean and Crystal host our weekly team call, which is um, – uh, shred your testimonial where we do 30 minutes of just raw, real, powerful testimonials from other shredders. It's, it's honestly my favorite call. It's just freaking, it, it gives you goosebumps. And then I go through a quick little, um, breakdown of what the ER shred is. So if you ever have anybody that's interested because you're looking fly now after the shred and they're ready to go, that's what you want to get them on. Right. Um, you got Heather and Sean. You guys are silly. You guys are silly. But well, I love you guys. Cheers. Okay, so hopefully that helps. Um, journal, mindset, uh, don't freak out. Don't add anything that's not on the protocol. Don't ask. The answer is no. Um, make sure you're having your bone broth and your wafers. Uh, space them out throughout the day. Your cleanse, make sure you space that out. Um, you can't, you know, your coffee, you can have a cup of coffee. You can put some grass-fed butter in it on non-cleanse days, black on cleanse days. Um, yeah, and if you've got any other questions, tap into the group. I, I seriously wholeheartedly in rooting for you. Like you have no idea. I am, I am literally your biggest cheerleader. I want every, it is my mission. It's my passion in life to literally help as many people as freaking possible come alive as we say, right. And just feel amazing, feel healthy. Like if you understood the way that the body was designed to function and you get the taste of that, there's going to be no stopping you. I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. You are so freaking worth it. I know you can do this. It is 11 days. Remember to tell yourself to suck it up buttercup if you have to. This group is cheering for you, but I need you to cheer for you. I need you to believe in you because if you don't believe in you first, you got to check up here. Guys, kick ass crush it and know that that we're all here and we're all cheering for you so we'll talk to you real soon have a good one